In this video, I'll quickly demonstrate the Mesh Editor Action Script. That's a lot of words, which can sound intimidating, but it's actually rather simple. The Mesh Editor Action Script allows you to program changes to be made to parts of the mesh every time it is synchronized. Of course, that's what our thermal tags and TD Direct are for. So why would you need this? Well, we have the thermal tags and TD Direct include as much information as possible. You can set up optical properties, insulation, orienters, materials, etc. However, we can't set all the properties in TD Direct. The Mesh Editor Action Script is a catch-all for those things we can't directly set from TD Direct. Examples include editing nodes, primarily because they don't exist yet, defining the number of node layers for insulation, or conditional statements to generate conductors or insulation. The Mesh Editor Action Script operates on domains, so anything you want to alter needs to be put into a domain. Every time the mesh is synchronized, those changes are carried out. So let's look at an example. I have this simple geometry. First, I'm going to put a domain on this edge called for boundary. Then I'm going to put a domain on this top surface called for recession. First, I'll mesh this. Then select the importer and edit. The first thing to select is the domain I want to alter. I'll start with for boundary and I want to edit the nodes. For nodes though, I have two choices. If I select nodes, then the selected nodes will all have the same node number. If I select nodes no ID, it will change everything except node numbers. That's the one I want. Then click Add, and it brings up a node edit form. Everything I do on this form will be applied to all the nodes in this domain. I want to override calculations and then set these as boundary nodes. For the next change, I will select the domain for recession. And for this, I want to edit the surfaces. Click Add, and I'll go to the Insulation tab. This is the full surface edit form, and I want to put insulation on the top side of the surfaces. I'll call it Teflon, give it a thickness, and set it to 20 layers. The thickness and material I could set in TD Direct, but the number of layers needs to be set here. Then I'll resynchronize. There are boundary nodes. And the surfaces show the insulation. That's all there is to it. Thanks for watching.